Another bit of news that that dropped this morning specifically wasn't necessarily involving uh, player movement, but it is some some club to club uh, news that should be discussed. The Chicago Red Star is announcing uh, that they have are launching a strategic alliance with BFL Wolfsburg Women. Interesting phrasing of uh, of this partnership. Uh, they announced uh, that the strategic alliance will see the two clubs collaborate and coordinate technical and business resources and create new global business opportunities between the two organizations. Yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, not too sure how to to di dissect uh, this one. You know, um, the, essentially saying that as, as interest continues to grow around women's soccer, that the two clubs will essentially further expand their mark on the game within and outside of their domestic league. So is this, you know, perhaps something where we're going to see these two teams, uh, you know, maybe have a fixture or two against each yeah. other. You know, we've seen out of angel city specifically these, mm -hmm. um, these kind of partnerships that we saw that they, they're connecting specifically with Mexican soccer. So we saw them have uh, an exhibition game against Tigres Feminil. We mm -hmm. saw them have, uh, you know, launch Copa Angelina, which is, you know, a direct partnership with, with, you know, Mexican Federation football. They're going to be playing games mm -hmm. against the Mex the senior Mexican women's national team. Um, so there, within this announcement, there, there isn't discussion about like, Hey, there's going to be um, fixtures or friendlies taking place between these two clubs, but I, I wouldn't say that that's something that's possibly out of the realm, you know, a possibility yeah. in a partnership no, exactly. like this. <laughs> we want that. Yeah. Why not, why not awesome. this Liga, right? Yeah. I'm like, let's do it. Do you get the sense at all? I mean, I know you just saw that um, blurb come through, but do you get the sense that this could be any sort of partnership in terms of like transitioning of players as we saw with a little bit with like OL Reign? And Quite possibly. I mean, I mean, before before Angel City's arrival, right? Mm -hmm. There was the massive partnership between the Rain and Olympic Lyon, and that was, you know, uh, that involved straight up inclusion of of new like new ownership yeah. and and decision making, and and obviously what was a rebrand. And now we're sort of seeing a little bit of that unofficial uh, partnership in terms of player to club and club and player player kind of saw you know we saw um you know last year specifically with the flurry of of players coming into to ol rain whether it was you know eugenie le somer or yeah. jennifer marozan or sarah buadi and then the impact that they had for ol rain uh down the stretch of of last season so yeah listen if this is if this is shout out to eat <laughs> to sleep eat repeat <laughs> i feel you on that if this is a way to get somebody like Lena Oberdorf into the NWSL specifically for the Chicago Red Stars, I'm I'm here for that. That's yeah, a, oh, that's that's amazing. One of my favorite in the Euros. Get her over here. <laughs> yeah, that was like Germany was they were on a, on madness yeah. mode, right? Absolute madness mode in, in, in the Euros. Uh, curious to see if that's something um, that would you know is going to lead uh, into into this for for both teams because on the one side it's like hey here's a lot of excitement about and hypothetical things about like hey is there a possibility for for players to start filtering and tend to be so but you know i'm curious if there's a possibility for players who are interested in going overseas having an outlet in wolfsburg you know mm -hmm. what does that mean yeah. for some of the younger players on the chicago red stars team yeah who have obviously stepped up this season in light of you know kind of having so many departures in their in their off season so very curious to see how uh this type of partnership continues to to evolve or what they're going to show in terms of the evolution of announcing this um arnim whistler the primary only saying within this release that this was apparently a partnership that they were working on um over a year uh wow. Yeah, just just interesting. Usually, stuff like that is. Like, yeah, I love women's soccer. This is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. I was just oh, like, a... <laughs> and here it is, and here it is, finally being announced towards, towards the uh, end of the scene. So uh, we'll see. Something to definitely keep an eye on and ask more about, and hopefully, we'll get some more information uh, around that as the season continues to to wind down.